Here is a picture of a plant containing the enzyme ferrodoxin. Ferrodoxin is located specifically in the stroma on the thalkaloid membrane of the chloroplast. More specifically, ferrodoxin is found in photosystem 1 of photosynthesis. Photosystem 1 is an integral membrane protein complex that uses light energy to mediate electron transfer from plastocyanin to ferrodoxin. Ferrodoxin is comprised of iron sulfur complexes, as shown here, with two structural domains. These two domains are comprised of an anti parallel beta barrel sheet located at the amino terminus of the protein, here indicated by the abbreviation NT, as well as an alpha helix beta strand located at the C terminus indicated by CT here. The beta barrel domain serves as the binding site for the FAD cofactor, which will here be indicated by a blackened in triangle, while the C terminus serves as the binding site for NADP+, indicated here by a blackened in circle. Upon binding of the FAD cofactor to the N terminus and the NADP plus to the C terminus, the entire ferrodoxin protein will undergo a conformational change. This conformational change results in a folding action of the protein, specifically the C terminus and the N terminus, towards one another. This results in the active site of the protein at the interface of the two domains, as shown by this dotted line. Here we can see we have our bound NADP+, as well as our FAD cofactor, that have undergone the conformational change, resulting in the active site. This conformational change decreases the distance between the FAD cofactor and NADP+, enabling the two cofactors to bind to one another by the formation of a hydrogen bond. This hydrogen bond is specifically between a glutamate residue and a serine residue. Ferrodoxin then acts as a catalyst to reduce the NADP+, to NADPH through the transfer of one electron to the FAD cofactor. All ferrodoxin molecules contain at least one characteristic iron sulfur cluster, three of which are shown here. While the clusters vary in the number of iron and sulfur atoms in each, they all have a tetrahedral iron atom and terminal sulfur atoms. The terminal sulfur atoms are sometimes part of adjacent cysteine residues or are disulfide bonded to the adjacent cysteine residues. The ability of the iron to exist stably in two different oxidation states is what makes these clusters so important for the electron transfer chain of photosystem one. Because of the filled and unfilled d orbitals of the same energy within the iron atom's electron cloud, each iron atom will stably exist in both a two plus and a three plus oxidation state with proper ligand binding. This requirement is what dictates the crystal structure of each of the iron sulfur clusters commonly found in ferrodoxin molecules. Ultimately, because of iron's ability to take and give electrons, it makes ferrodoxin necessary in the electron transport chain. So why is ferrodoxin so important? Ferrodoxin functions as an electron carrier that ultimately allows for the reduction of NAD plus to NADPH. It allows the electrons that were removed from water to be used as part of an electron transport chain. Photosystem 2 is involved in the oxidation of water and provides electrons to replace those that are lost in photosystem 1 through the action of ferrodoxin. The structure of ferrodoxin is specifically designed to allow for the binding of FAD cofactors and NAD+. The design of the domains and strands at the N and C terminus of ferrodoxin allows for specificity in the active site.
The ability of ferredoxin to carry electrons serves an important role in the process of photosynthesis. Electron transport chains are used to generate a hydrogen ion gradient, which generates a proton motive force. This proton motive force is used to produce ATP. The overall importance of ferredoxin is its capability of aiding in the force behind the hydrogen gradient to ultimately produce ATP. Without the use of ferredoxin in photosynthesis, the chemistry of life on Earth would not be the same.